Hey guys, it's Monkify here for MMOHut.com, and today we're going to do an early look at the Wrath of Heroes Warhammer Online game. A 6v6v6 kind of MOBA style game that you can play here, inspired by, of course, Warhammer. And uh, this is not a first impression, just like Omer does. This is kind of just an early look. I, I was able to get into the closed beta, and I'm going to be able to show off a couple rounds with you. Um, it's not finished, the game isn't finished, but uh, the gameplay is pretty much intact, and I'll show you exactly what's going on here. So to go ahead and start out, I'm just going to hit play now. I'm just going to flinging the poop, it looks like. Yeah, that's always the best thing to do. I guess I'm a monkey. And uh, we're going to get right in the game. The game has a myriad list of heroes similar to Dota or League of Legends or Heroes of New Earth. And because of that, you'll be able to pick one at the start of the match to actually use in your fight. Now, the difference being that they don't level up and their skills are all available at the very start of the match. Um, you can't get any items. It's more of like capture and defend. You capture certain points. You hold them. You accrue uh, points. And then that wins you the game for your team or Warband, as they're called in uh, Wrath of Heroes here. This game, I should mention, is uh, developed actually by BioWare, which is the company that's also developing the Star Wars MMO, and it's being published by EA. Uh, one thing also to note is it's kind of a, not rip-off, but... Welcome to oh, here we go. Temple. Loading Arena. The Arena is waiting. Battle let out in a no-holds bar. So here we go. Here's my list of uh, people I can pick from. I think I'm going to have to start with this guy, Volko the Destroyer. So here we go. As you can see on the map, there's three locations where people can spawn. Your team points will show up here, and there's a timer to start before the actual match begins. So I'm gonna go ahead and take down my audio just a bit. Fight! There we go. Just so you can hear me just a bit more. Okay, so here we go, arena. Let's see what happens. And uh, and I guess in this mode, this is just a straight up death match. Uh, the other map that I saw earlier was a capture and defend point. So let's see what happens. I'm going to try to pull one of these guys to us. And that, there we go. He's in here. And he is going to get messed up. Yeah, he died. Alright, so we're going to go here. Get some melee. And there's healers in there. There's tanks. And then there's damage dealers. So all kinds of classes. Just going to go in here. Just well, Goldrim. Goldrim, you're going down, bro. He's going down, going down, going down. And oh, Goldrim got healed. He's getting healed by someone. All right, I'm stunned apparently. Oh, God. as you can see, my abilities are no longer moving. Okay, I'm back in the action. Use his typical Wazda movement. I'm gonna pull this guy to me, and uh, then all right, let's go. Let's go, Pudster. Pudster, you're in mine. Oh God, I'm actually taking a lot of damage here. Hopefully, I can get some good kills in there. Or hopefully, somebody will heal me. Don't let me die. Also has a tamed and vulnerability. And I was slain first by Blame Chi. Blame Chi, you are bad. I'm not really feeling this guy this match. Let's go with someone else. Uh, let us go with the Horith Deathbringer, who's like an archer. And as you can see, I'm going to respawn there in two seconds here. It's nice that you can actually see how many times you've killed an opponent, how many times I killed you, if you want to go out for some vendetta and kill someone. But I'm going to come here. I am an archer and do a nice little kick there forwards and. Uh, I've got a lot of range attack moves, which seems like they'll be good in this map. So let's... Ooh, okay. Oh, here comes a guy. I'm going to have to run away here. Let's back up. I'm getting, like, focused super hard. God damn you, Goldrin. All right, well, that's all right. Well, not legit, you know, ch a chance with a core here. We're going to respawn and see how we do this next time. So let's see here. we got Festering Arrow. This does uh, 132 damage and an additional 220 over 12 seconds. Deals 130 great, increases the damage. This is like your ultimate ability. Deals 98 damage and almost always crits below the target at 50%. Deals 89 damage and repeatedly deals 7 damage to the target. Alright, so now that we have that in line, let's go ahead and go in here and do that. So I think I'm going to hit number 5 first to boost my damage on my other abilities. Number 5, number 4, and here we go. Yeah, so this guy is, uh, as you can see, I'm just shooting arrows from afar. Doing good damage, and uh, hopefully I can kill this Pudster dude. This Pudster, you're going down. All right, so Pudster's down here. Now I'm going to fight this guy, Narvalicious. Narvalicious. Nice little shot there, Narv. Narv's down. The Crypta is like a, a tree. He's got two different modes. He can kind of switch to them. Either or one of them is more of a defensive mode, while the other is more aggressive mode. And oh, I am getting focused. Power healing. Hmm. I wonder what these abilities are. So that super—he's uh, kind of a tank. He's in this tank role, this orc tank role. 
One thing I should mention about this game is it's kind of like the PvP version of the Warhammer Online MMO, something that was published a few years ago. Um, it actually didn't do too well, and it's now been relegated to just a few servers, and I believe there's also just a free-to-play uh, mode of it as well, although the full game still requires a pay-to-play subscription, I do believe. This is more of just the PvP aspects of it, which are while very similar to the MMO, aren't quite the same. But if you did enjoy the PvP of that Warhammer, oh, I've slain Ordak, there we go. The spamming abilities get you kills, guys, remember that. So let's see if I can get this guy too. And, uh, oh, attain a vulnerability. All right, so here we go. Going to put some cryptic stuff. He should die. Yeah, he's down now. We're going to go get this guy. Just moving up here. And uh, I, I think I'm feeling this archer now. Very, uh, very weak in close power combat. Oh, Crypto's back for revenge. Getting, oh, I'm disabled. I'm gonna kill you. Come on. There. I am on a kill streak, guys. Two pro. Oh, God. What is this happening? I'm stuck in place. I'm stuck in place. Oh, God. Oh, don't die. Don't. Oh. So I'm one for one with air solo now. And I'm feeling this guy. I think I'm gonna go with this guy and hopefully this entire round. So what are we doing? 185. We are in second place. Blue team has 210 points. We have 195 not too bad let's see how well we can do here i'm going to come back in the action with my teammates this is a very team-based game it's 6v6v6 six six six. so being around your team for their bonuses and debuffs is uh definitely something you want to do so let's see if i can help them killing pudster here renegade has to run away but i think i'm actually going to be able to get him come on yes pudster is down i am just raping kids this one I'm going to do the same for this guy now he's kind of a tank and he also can heal so it's going to be a little bit tougher to take him down. Hopefully we can do uh, some good damage here. Power healing. I want to know what that actually does. I have not seen that yet, so it's interesting to see. And like I said, guys, this is in closed beta, so this isn't final. I I'm not sure if the graphics are final or if all the audio is final. I've been playing this for a few weeks now uh, in different iterations, and it just got a pretty major buff and uh, bump up in all the heroes you can play as well as the announcer in game modes. Um, this mode hasn't been in since the beginning of the beta. There was only one of the mode, which was the capture the point, which is what I thought was going to actually happen. Pudster has attained super speed. All right, so let's see if I can get this guy. He doesn't seem to be paying attention to me. Come here, bro. I'm going to pull an Omer and call him bra. Let's see how much... Oh, he is doing some crazy shit. I'm going to run away. Okay, so I did not realize my... Okay, I am stuck in place, and I was slain by Ordak. All right. Let's go ahead and choose one more so you can see another one. And I'm going to go ahead and go with this guy, who's uh, like a melee fighter. Should be pretty good. Very focused on doing dodging attacks and uh, getting there and getting quick strikes. All right, so we're up. Ooh, I like the view. Just like Omer. <laughs> There we go, okay, so with Rue, extremely increases your chance to dodge and, and slightly increases all damage to deal, alright, deals 32 damage and allows you to sprint, so let's see how we can do, alright, so coming in here, doing some damage, oh wow, look how fast I'm going guys, Jesus Christ, I am just going like super fast, doing some decent damage here to this guy, I'm gonna pull my ultimate so I don't get hit by random crap, oh, whoa, pulled up, how in the hell was I pulled up? Oh god. I need to run away, run away. Do not want to be in there. Oh man, and blind blame chi killed me again. I have not killed him once. Let's see, deals 72 damage, increases the damage in your next attack within 5 seconds, bypasses armor. Deals 111 damage your next mana bane talks to a hard strike within 8 seconds will not have any cooldowns. That's awesome. So a lot of damage, bypassing armor, and uh it's basically like evasion. Chad even got triple damage. I want triple damage. That would be amazing. Alright, so let's see what we can do here, guys. So, I'm gonna pop that. Pop that. And I am stunned. Oh, there we go. Alright, so let's see what we can do. I'm gonna do some damage. I'm gonna punch the crap out of this guy. I'm gonna pop my little ultimate there so I can actually get in here and do good damage to you. You're going down, bro. You're going down. You're going down. Come on. Come on. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Yeah, slain Crypta. Not bad. I'm gonna run out of there before I get destroyed. Hopefully my teammates will do my their AoE healing stuff and uh, get me healed up here. I don't know if we have any. Oh, we don't seem to have a healer right now, which is pretty much that little goblin guy. He's an AoE healer. Does a lot of healing. And some other of the guys actually have. Oh, he is trying to get me. 
I'm gonna wait for my cooldown to come up and actually do some good damage on him. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna pop five, and uh, yeah, here we go. Here we go, guys. Pudster, you're going down again. I've been wrecking you this whole game. Nice. Now one more guy is open. Where would he go? Okay, he's dead. So I, wow, look at my blades. They're like all on fire. Crap, that's actually pretty awesome. So yeah, we need a healer. I think maybe next time I'll be a healer in the next round uh, of this game so that I can actually show you guys some of the healing properties because the healers are offensive healers. So they do damage, but they also allow you to heal as you do damage, which is pretty awesome. Oh, he just got wrecked. Okay, so here, here we go. Here we go, bro. You're gonna die. And I have slain Puster again. Puster just gets destroyed. I'm dodging, I'm dodging attacks. I'm dodging attacks. I have 22 HP running away. Oh, dodge, dodge. Oh, I almost got away. Taro killed me. He has killed me once. I have killed him no time. So let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to a different one. Let's go with... Uh, Oh, this guy. This looks like a caster. And, yeah, respawn in five seconds. So I'm just going to show you pretty much all of these heroes as possible. There's a good mix of uh, tanks, uh, damage dealers, uh, kind of buff supporters, and I believe as well, like, of course, melee. Oops, I couldn't even think of melee. All right, so these guys are kind of staying on with each other. I'm going to keep firing this at him. Do some good damage. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, bro? What are you going to do? Oh, you're so dead. Look, that impending doom's gonna kill him in two, like two seconds. Ready for this? Ready for this? Ready for this? Oh, yeah. Blame Chi has died. Not bad. Alright, so I'm gonna stick back here and just cast as much as possible. I'm gonna do great damage. There we go. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah. It's destroying right now. Here we go. Alright. So let's see here. Oh, here's another guy. So we're gonna cast this on him. And uh, based on my abilities here, do a lot of crit damage. Whoa! Getting knocked up in the air. And I think I'm going to die here, unfortunately. Oh, what? No, I live with 13 HP. That's how you do it, guys. Live with 13 HP. And what is this? This is like this circular thing over here. I'm going to go and see what exactly what this is. Maybe I can grab and get like an ability or something. So let's see, guys. I have obtained triple damage. Let's see how much triple damage I can actually do with just... <laughs> 12 HP. Let's do this, guys. Whoa! Look at all that damage. Oh, <laughs> absolutely wrecking people. How do, oh, is that it? Damn. I did a lot of damage though with that 13 HP. You're gonna just wreck people's face. Let's do this. Um, looks like Bright Wizard is. Uh, okay, we need to kill this guy. He he is attacking a teammate. And uh, let's see what we can. Oh, I'm living, guys, with 13 HP. It's so awesome. Alright, so let's see if I can do some cast here. I've got like no HP left, but it's alright, because I'm just gonna Oh finally died. And apparently oh let's see I've killed him two times. He's only killed me once. And I think that's defeat, guys. We lost. Blue team. It looks like we were 417 points. Second place, not bad. Team my winning team was 500 points. I think actually I'm gonna call it for right now, guys. If you guys wanna see more about this or you wanna hear li read more about this rather, go ahead and go and check it out at MMOHut.com. If you wanna see more gameplay of this, like another mode, let us know in the comments below. This has been Spunkify Out. I'll see you guys later. Peace.